live, 7.30. We are going to be talking a little West Virginia bass fishing, Stonewall Jackson Lake, West Virginia. Did you get me a water? You want one? Please. <laughs> Get a little water. We're going to need it. We're going to be doing a lot of talking. Well, you know, Nick, we'll tell a little story here while we're sitting there, uh, what, last weekend, or let's see, when was it, the weekend before? Three weeks. Uh, Three weeks. We, uh, we were down at Dale Hollow Lake, and uh, this boy was catching some pretty good ones on the spinnerbait down there. Uh, them big large mouth was starting to bite a little bit, weren't they? Yeah, towards the end of the day. It was still a little tough down there. But anyway, this week we're going to be talking a little bit about West Virginia and Stonewall Lake, uh, Stonewall Jackson Lake. We actually stay at Stonewall Resort uh, when we go up there. Oh, boy. Now let's see if I can make this one get on Facebook where I can see what's going on here. Let's see. Hey, anybody that's getting on there, share and like this thing. Share this thing out to your friends. Get some of your friends to get them to like this as well. It says rotate your phone. You can't move your phone while recording, it says. Hey, there it is. <laughs> hey, Christopher, I'm confusing you. Yep. Well, we got some folks getting on here. We got John Boykin watching. We got Robert Coffee out there. Uh, you guys need to share this out and get some folks on here for us. We're going to have a little fun talking about Stonewall Resort or Stonewall Jackson Lake. That's confusing. You think about that. Stonewall Jackson Lake, Stonewall Resort. I got it. Oh, you got us on there live. Where I got my kids, as always, co hosting. For all you folks that watched this week, this episode was on Stonewall Jackson Lake. This place is a phenomenal place. Uh, fishery. West Virginia, when you look at their bodies of water, they're not big bodies of water. You know, they don't have a Kentucky Lake that's, you know, 80, 90,000 acres. It's a, these lakes are, you know, what I think Stonewall Jackson's three, around 3,000 acres, 2,800 acres if I remember correctly. Um, but what a lake and what's, uh, there's just some trophy fish in that place. Uh, we ended up, as uh, folks saw, we caught some muskie. And these toothy critters, well, they're probably not on my most favorite list, but um, I managed to have a few of them on throughout the episode. It was a lot of fun catching them, and um, I don't like messing with anything toothy. Uh, Christopher, you need to flip it over, it says. It's upside down. Dude. Hey, you got to read the screen. Hey, that's what happens when my son's behind the camera back here. You, you don't film our episodes upside down, do you? All right, here, come on. I told you that's why it was upside down. Oh, were you upside down right there? Well, anyway, leave it to us, the Stowe family, to film upside down. Uh, but anyway, talking about Stonewall, um, that lake is actually a musky lake as well. There's a lot of big musky in that place. I managed to catch a couple of them, had fun catching them things. Uh, I even gave one of them a kiss and... Uh, I don't know if that was a real wise idea with the teeth like that. Uh, who else we got on here? Um, I'm trying to read that screen. Hey, Brian Murphy, Brian's jumping on here. Uh, Brian's probably just getting off work, headed home. We got Tim Loesman. Tim, uh, yeah, I was upside down. You're right, buddy. But I have flipped that thing back over, and we are right side up on After the Bite. That's what we call this segment. At 7.30, we jump on here, and we like to call it After the Bite, and we like to talk a little bit about the fishing that went on on the episode. Uh, on the episode, we had Jared Harmon. Jared uh, may have gotten to be good friends over the years, and this guy is a tremendous fisherman. He's in, tremendously involved in conservation there in West Virginia, and uh, it's always awesome fishing with him, and he's going to be joining us here in just a few minutes. I see Tracy Bryant, you're watching. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Vectran. Um, it's, um, who else we got? 
Israel Mills, and he said, flip it over, and we did flip it over. We were upside down for a little while at the beginning of this thing. So, what are you eating there, Lois? She's going to hide from the camera. But uh, Nick here, he won't hide. So, anyway, a little more about Stonewall Jackson Lake. Um, this place, I've come to it and fished for a number of years now. We stay at Stonewall Resort. If you've never been there, amazing, absolutely amazing place. Uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, the lake is beautiful. It's just, uh, you're just out in a little bit of, uh, I'm going to call it a little place of heaven out there. Uh, who else we got? We got Leanne Valentine. Just watched the show, show on Heaven's Pursuit Channel. High. She said, what an awesome show. We appreciate that comment. And Ben Larson, Ben was with us on one of our previous episodes, and that guy said, sweet musky. Ben, them teethy critters are dangerous, man. Um, so who else we got here? We don't want to be missing anybody, but we're going to grab our notes over here and go down the list, and we are looking for Jared on here, and he is going to be joining under... Well, Bowser, I think, is the name that he's going to be joining us on. Yeah, let me scroll down here and see if we can find him. Do you want me to drop it? You can't do it on this. Oh, you can't do it on this one? All right, well, then you do it on that one. Technical difficulties. When you let me get around a computer, folks, and around electronics, let me promise you, things don't go real well. Um, I'm not a techno kind of guy. So, um... You know, on this episode, uh, Nick, you actually, there was a little segment on there about a year, a uh, year and a half ago, we actually got to go up to West Virginia with the DNR biologist and got to go into a bear's den and, and listen to these guys, uh, Colin Carpenter and his team of folks there at the West Virginia DNR. We got to join them and actually go in with them on a bear study. And what an am just, it's amazing what they do for the preservation of them animals. When they talked about how few bears were in the state of West Virginia years ago versus today, and I think, and I'm gonna not quote this, but I think there's over 13,000 bears now plus in the state of West Virginia. And it's amazing from, through conservation and through all their efforts that they have what they do for that bear population. And Nick, actually, uh, then we actually got to go on a hunt with a bunch of our friends, Garrett, we, uh, Garrett DeWeese and, and uh, Denny and, and a group of guys. And these guys were actually houndsmen. Uh, it's, a, um, it's probably one of the oldest traditional ways of uh, hunting bear in West Virginia. And if you've never done it, all the families that came, we did it with a group of them. Uh, what an amazing time. Did you enjoy that, Nick? Yeah, it was fun seeing them all together and they running the dogs and all that. Right, and we actually had bear jerky. We've had, uh, we actually took uh, bear meat to our church um, yeah. uh, wild game feed. And uh, what an op awesome opportunity when we did harvest a bear to be able to take that meat and, and, and utilize it. And uh, we still have a little bit of the bear jerky. Yeah. We're always chewing on that when we're out in the boat and uh, doing a little hunting. But uh, you want to tell Colin and, and Garrett and Denny and all them guys that took us uh, and, uh, for taking you out there and allowing you get to do that. Was that pretty awesome or what? Yeah, I was glad I got to do it with them. And they talked me through it and everything, and they didn't just leave me out there to <laughs> hang me. Well, we hiked about how many miles? I think it was it around Two? seven Oh. No, it was around seven miles oh. throughout the day because if you remember, we started we in the went morning. Up and down. That's what it was. It was two miles straight, but then we went up and down the mountains. Okay. That's what uh, it was. You know, fishermen and hunters, we're always making the story sound better. So I'm going to call it seven miles. He's calling it two straight line. Mm -hmm. uh, but that bear hunt was an awesome opportunity, and what an awesome opportunity to get to go in there on a uh, uh, with them into the you know scene what they do and what, how they study those bears. Uh, but to the fishing, West Virginia, have we found Jared yet? All right, we're gonna be bringing Jared Harmon on here. This guy, what a good friend and uh, 
What a lot of fun this guy is. Uh, Jared, we've, had a, we've got to fish a number of times over the years together and uh, can't bring Jared onto the camera. We're gonna need Jared to get on the camera there. I'm still not. Technical difficulties, I'm the king of them. Uh, well, to continue on forward a little bit, we were up at Stonewall Resort in the fall and um, the, uh, there was a great topwater bite. You know, Jared had told me about this lake over and over uh, in the fall that it was going to be an awesome place to uh, come up there and, and get to catch some quality fish, and we did that. Um, we got to throw in a good old whopper plopper up there. And, uh, hey, hold on, I'm going to pull my, I'm going to get Angel or Lab outside. Come on, Angel, go outside. Good girl. You're noisy. Anyway, Angel. Our good old lab running around out here in the stove, what we call our game room. We got a little air hockey out here. We got a little bit of everything out here. This is our uh, fun place. But we had uh, we got a uh, fishing up there in the fall. And we got to throw in a whopper plopper and uh, what a fun bait. I was throwing a whopper plopper 90 and um, we were also throwing a buzz bait. I know Jared has a buzz bait that he was using. And then we also used one of these uh, Accent Jacob Wheeler solid black buzz baits here. And this thing went to catching some good fish as well. And, uh, but if you've never been to Stonewall in October, uh, you need to experience it. Uh, it was a good time. The grass was a little bit below the water. We were throwing that top water and catching them. I don't believe we've gotten Jared yet. Chris was working on texting him here, but that's, uh, we'll have him join us in a few minutes. Um, on my Whopper Plopper, I like to throw my Denali Covert Light Rod. This is a six foot 10 uh, medium rod. I throw it on a crankbait rod. Um, I throw my, you know, my six three to one gear ratio um, Shimano Corrado. And then on the buzz bait, I was throwing Denali's Lithium Series Rod. And this is their spinner bait rod which I throw my buzz bait on. And this is a six foot 10 medium heavy rod. Awesome rod. I love this rod for my spinner bait and my buzz bait. Well, Jared, we're gonna need you, man. Where you at? So somehow we might not be able to pull him up for some reason. And uh, if not, Nick, you're gonna have to come fill in for Jared. Nick, you gonna fill in for Jared here? I'm um, chips. Well, to continue on, there was a pretty funny picture that I put out on Facebook a number of months ago. Uh, we were traveling on our way to West Virginia, and somehow, well, I ended up with a gas can in my hand. Um, somehow, I was driving along, and uh, this little gauge goes ding, 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 ding in my truck. And what did we do? Uh, I didn't pay any attention. We kept driving and driving until, what did we do? run out of gas. We actually rolled down and off the ramp and um, we, uh, I'll turn this thing down, it sounds like it's echoing in my ear. Um, we ran out of gas, but luckily it was all downhill. We ended up out off the ramp. A guy stopped, gave us a hand. We weren't literally off the ramp five minutes. A guy pulled over, I was headed for the gas station walking. He grabbed me, he said, man, I seen that boat and truck over there. I figured you were out of gas. I said, uh, yeah, what, what a great uh, happening. I mean, it happened that fast. Guy picked us up, good old West Virginia folks. He got me uh, gas back up and we hit the road and made it to the boat ramp. Who else we got here? We got Joe Long watching. Uh, we've got, um, who else there? Christopher, scroll down. We got Andrew Swecker. Um, We've got Kevin Tennant, and we got Jared, uh, Jared Armand's on here, but we can't get him to go live. Maybe if I touch the button, it'll work. Nope, it's not going to work. Uh, Jared, uh, he's, tech, or he's uh, commenting on there, I'm trying, brother, but he hadn't made it on. Um, so to kind of go a little further into this episode, um, after running out of gas, we ended up having a good time catching a lot of fish. We caught these fish in the backs of the creeks over the grass on top water, and uh, it was a great time. Uh, of course, my son Christopher's behind the camera, and he was uh, getting to witness it all. Was it pretty good fishing, Christopher? Don't know. 
Oh, he doesn't know. He never says much about fishing. Uh, this guy, he likes filming. He likes making the videos. I can't convince him to get to fishing with me. Let's see. Gabe Manning's on there. Hey, Gabe, look who's on here. Your buddy Nick right here. Um, so let's see. What else did we want to talk a little bit about Stonewall? Um, here um you know west virginia 811 those folks we always know it's important to call before you dig we were up there promoting the message of safe digging for those folks on this episode as always and uh over the past couple years i've actually got to fish with greg arbor a friend of mine on stonewall and uh you know greg's out of the gas business and understands the importance of 811 and we talk about that every week and uh Greg, I missed getting to fish with you this year, but fishing with Jared was a pretty doggone good time. All right, Gabe Manning, he's giving us some applause there. All right, Gabe. I think, uh, That's let's a see. waving hand. Oh, it's a waving hand. All right, we're waving at you again. Well, you and Gabe go to school together, right? Yeah. All right. You got, even got, look, you got your fan club on here with you. Um, so, uh, one of the things I like to do when we're on these Facebook Lives is do a little giveaway. So for you folks out there on this giveaway, Christopher's going to follow me with a camera over here, and we're going to stop, and we're going to look at Nick's bear on the way over here, by the way. There's Nick's bear right up there that he got when he was in West Virginia. And uh, coming on over here, you're going to have to unplug there, son. Uh, we're going to make a guessing game out of what year is this old Johnson motor right here. Now, we're going to let you guess for a while, and somebody may guess it right. You're going to guess it again and again. But what year is this old Johnson motor? Right here. Now, I'm going to go back over here, and we're going to show you what you can win if you guess this thing right. we got a couple of our brand new direction hats right here. It's got the 811 on there. Awesome new-looking rustic hat. We also got one of these cool... Stylish offset D's on this thing. Uh, pretty hip for the kids. Oh, yeah. And then a nice 811 hat as well. This is a nice fitted hat right here. But you can win all three of these if you can guess what your motor that Johnson motor is. Let's go, go over and show them that motor again. We need some guesses, folks. What year is this Johnson motor right here? We need some guesses. Is anybody going to guess? We don't have no guesses. You better start guessing what year this Johnson outboard is right here. Okay, 1963, 1962, 1935. Coffee, you're getting old, man. <laughs> um, let's see. 74, 52, 64. There's a lot of you guessing all over this thing. You all keep that guessing going because we're going to keep you guessing. I'm not going to tell you what year it is for a few minutes. So, um, Ben, we're not going to have Jared Armin on here. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jared. Jared is actually a conservation director. Um, in uh, West Virginia, and he actually received a award that he was given to him, I believe, while he was down at the Bassmasters Classic. And I wanted him to be able to tell about this award, but I, my hat's off to this guy because he's a guy that puts his time and his efforts into fishing and the outdoors, and um, this guy is just top-notch. I know he's on there commenting now. I'm going to scroll back down here through all your all's guesses. Uh, and Jared put on here, wanted to say thanks for a great trip. Fall fishing at Stonewall can be phenomenal, especially the topwater bite. We're on, we were on whopper poppers and buzz baits you, you, and using typical soft plastics for follow-up baits, scent coast, stupid tube, etc. We did catch one on the stupid tube, and I'm, I'll tell you, I take that bait everywhere and love that bait. I've, it's one of them baits, Terry McWilliams, I owe you one for teaching me uh, that little tube. And uh, a lot of fun throwing that bait and catch a lot of fish on it. If you haven't tried it, you ought to try it. Um, 
But anyway, all you guys are guessing. We're going to keep you guessing for a few more minutes. And uh, does anybody has anybody out there ever been on Stonewall Lake and if you, or Stonewall Jackson Lake? And if you have, comment about it and tell me a little bit about your experiences on it. Let's read here. Start scrolling through it. Uh, Robert Coffey said that's a 1962 motor when Columbus sailed the Big Blue. <laughs> Some of these guys, I'll tell you. 1978, Gabe Manning. Um, uh, there's Melissa Jennings right there. 1988, Melissa, you're not there yet. It's older than that. Uh, let's see. Jared's saying invite Lynn Yoakum. Uh, so let's see if you can hit Lynn Yoakum on there. We're going to find this guy tonight. Because I definitely want to give Jared time to talk about uh, West Virginia and, and what all he does. Do you see her on there? No, it doesn't show. What is the date of that thing? Nope. Well, we still haven't got him. Well, Stonewall Resort, as I said earlier, if you haven't been there, you need to check that place out. They always have us up and uh, to give us uh, and take care of us with our accommodations and everything. Um, there's, we have never had a bad experience there. That place is phenomenal. Uh, got a couple restaurants downstairs. You can actually go up there, kayaks, you know, uh, hike. They have bikes. They have uh, a golf course. You can stay right there. They have two restaurants downstairs. You never have to leave the place. I mean, this place is uh, enjoyable. My wife likes to go. Um, and and uh, Brian Wimsett, he just joined us. Hi, Brian. Uh, but my wife enjoys this place. I think the kids, do you, what do y'all think of Stonewall? Amazing. <laughs> y'all like spring break up there? Yeah, I like going kayaking and bicycling. Good stuff. And then your brother took his one wheel up there, or y'all rode your one wheel. They got this little thing with one wheel and a skateboard, and they're running around. Well, folks, all of you guessing right there, there's been a couple of you guessing right, so you better start guessing, uh, repeating what that guess was back right there. But I know who guessed it first, and we'll be telling that motor uh, here in just a minute of uh, the year of it. We're going to, Jared, I don't know. Let's see, here's Lynn Yoakum right there. And, well... I don't think it's an impossible thing. All right, it, it, Daddy, this is. Tell me, tell me. I know the number. You know how I know the number? I had to look it up on Google. But uh, no one cheat. Anyway, we're gonna try one more time to see if we can find Jared here. It, it doesn't and it don't look like we're gonna be able to. Well, anyway, that motor was a 1952. So go back up through the screen there, Christopher. And uh, one of them guessed it pretty quick. That old Johnson motor. My dad actually had that up in his work. I brought it up here and put it in our game room here. And uh, that made it a little fun. We're going to see who won that here in just a second. Nick's checking it out. But they're going to get a nice 811 ball cap. Going to get a direction hat. And also another direction hat as well. And we'll be getting you, uh, getting your info from you and messaging you on that here in a minute. Um, if you haven't uh, noticed on our Facebook page and on our Instagram and on our Instagram right now, actually, we have been uh, running uh, some giveaways and uh, we actually chose a winner. Uh, let's see, who won this? 1952, Gabe Manning. <laughs> hey, did you rig that for your buddy, no. Gabe? Look at this. But Gabe, you did a good job of guessing that. It was a 1952 uh, Johnson Motor. So we're going to be sending you some hats, and I guess with you, I can have Nick bring them to school. Um, but uh, what else do we got about this week's episode? Uh, you know, we can't thank the folks at uh, West Virginia 811 enough for having us up. We're actually going to be heading up to a meeting with them on Thursday, and uh, we'll be heading up there tomorrow afternoon, me and you, Christopher. So uh, Stonewall Lake. If you haven't been there, Stonewall Jackson Lake, if you haven't been there, go there. Stonewall Resort, go there. Um, join us every week after the bike right here, 730 Tuesday nights, whenever the episode goes off. 
If you don't follow us on Instagram and Facebook and on Twitter, we need you to go to At The Direction TV and follow us on all those. We need followers. We need the word getting out there. Uh, we want more people and more people watching the show. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Leanne Valentine says, Stonewall is a great lake, and Jared, he is a great guy, and that's for sure. Jared, you're first rate. I apologize that you aren't going to make it onto the Facebook Live this week, but uh, we might have to catch you back up on the rerun or something. You two are uh, getting a little wound up. Um, who's going to wrap this thing up for this week? Y'all going to wrap it up? I'm going to wrap this week up saying bye with the kids right here from the Stone from our Stow game room right here. Join us again next week, Pursuit Channel, 7 o'clock. Check out the direction. And once again, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Follow us on all of them. Like our stuff. Talk about it. Share it with your friends. We need you to get us out there. We'll see you next week.